hear you breathe, but I can't see If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I look a mess And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess I've just done my check and pictures of my cage, uh, well, for my cage, sent them across, and we will see what they say. Um, and something I'm just going to do my usual journaling and things, and then just get the final preparations ready. And I've probably got to catch a train around 8.15, <laughs> so not too early for me, um, which is nice. And then a long day at the venue till probably around 7, 8 I imagine probably eight-ish, <laughs> maybe even longer, but hopefully it'll be an enjoyable day and it'll go smoothly, so I will check with you guys later. I've just cooked up a little bit more chicken because the box that I cooked extra yesterday I ended up eating um, for my last meal, not my last meal, one of my last meals, and I've weighed out my weight, 15 grams, and then this morning, first thing, well, fairly soon I'm gonna have oats, I can't remember what it is, Oats 75 grams, no, oats 50 grams, various 50 grams, 15 grams of weight and 25 grams of dark chocolate early in the morning. So that will be my first meal and then the other meals I'll take with me. feel a little bit nervous actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be nervous when I get that for sure, but I think a bit of nerves are probably always good. So just getting the last couple of things together. Oh, also, um, I was getting the train, but my dad has very kindly said that he's going to take me. So I am really thankful. And yeah, my parents are just amazing. So very, very, very thankful to them. <laughs> uh, pretty much there. We're getting everything ready. The only thing I've applied on my face so far is my usual Sand and Sky serum. Um, if you are wanting that, then I'll put a link below because it's so nice and a discount. And... I am going to have my first meal, which is oats, the chocolate and the whey and berries. So I'll just quickly make that and I'll show you guys. And then, yeah, <laughs> I'm just wearing all black because, yeah, with, with the tan, which I haven't got on at the moment, I don't want to be wearing anything, which is just going to get spoiled. So I'm just going to whack on my black, like old hoodie as well. And then obviously a coat, probably wear a scarf because I think it's going to be cold. <laughs> Trainers, I've got flip-flops, I've got all my food ready, um, I've got the tanning stuff from um, Coco and Eve, even though I probably won't use that, but just in case anything went wrong with the tan the venue. I've got all my makeup, even though I haven't applied it yet. Got all my outfits, my bikinis, my fitness outfit, um, hairbrush, water. I think I've got everything. <laughs> There's always going to be something where I'm like, oh no, I haven't got that. But yeah, we're hopefully everything that I need, which is essential. So we're all ready to go. My dad's coming to pick me up, I think about quarter past eight and we're at about quarter past seven at the moment. So I've got an hour to just kind of like chill, make sure I've got all the addresses, um, all the information for like registration. And we're all set, we're ready to go. <laughs> guys is my first meal of the day not a bad meal at all so i'm just gonna sit and have that while i sort out all the finer details of registration numbers and making sure i have membership numbers and things so when i and also my address so i can just put it into my dad's um sat nav and yes that's it so you guys i actually have someone in my vlog today my dad is Good morning. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to head over to the venue and it's not far at all. I think it's about 25 minutes. So yeah, I'll let you know when we get there. We've arrived. <laughs> I've seen a couple of bodybuilders for sure go into the venue so far. But I think the guys are registering at the moment. 
And now I'm a bit nervous. It's such a big sports centre. I don't know if you guys can see that. But... Well, I registered and I am number 309. Lucky number 309. And it's gonna be such a long day because there's nowhere to go, nowhere to sit. We're not allowed inside apart from to the toilet. <laughs> and so, yeah, luckily it is sunny outside. So I think I'm just gonna have to be outside sitting in the sun for like 10 hours today. But what can we do? <laughs> that is show day prep, show day, show day. <laughs> we sat here in the sun. And we've still got like another hour to my tanning. I think it's at 12 and then go to do check-in for my coach at 12 after the tanning probably and then I got another coat at 2.30 and that is it really just gotta wait around have another meal in like an hour or so found like a little sunny spot so it's alright it's gonna listen to a podcast I think I've just had my first layer of tan done <laughs> So I am um, super tanned apart from my face, I'm going to do my makeup now. Just sent a check into my coach so we'll see what he says in terms of like food. And yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a move on now. And then I've got my second coat of tan at 2.30. Makeup is complete! I didn't really know what I was doing, I just, these false eyelash things, I didn't know how to put them on. So I'm hoping they won't fall off, but... Guys, I'm almost ready for the first category, fitness. <laughs> Everyone's actually getting ready now, which is kind of nice. Um, but I'm super tanned and have my fitness bikini on. <laughs> it has been such a long day, and I'm now at the train station. I'm just in this sort of like train waiting area, and there's some really funny people just watching me, thinking, "What the hell is that girl doing?" But a very successful day because obviously I won my fitness category, which is so good. And what is actually better is the fact that. Um, I had some absolutely incredible feedback from people which I think are quite high up in the Federation and yeah it's just really really positive um, and they haven't seen a performance I think like that in yeah, a long time so yeah <laughs> I didn't really know what to say um, I'm very thankful unfortunately I didn't play some bikini um, but it's kind of good because well not good it just means that I know that I need to focus on the fitness rather than the bikini because clearly that's probably not my category. Um, so that is it. Day is almost over. So I just got home and that was a very long day. We're about 8pm. Luckily I do live rather close to the venue. Um, my bags are so heavy they're trying to tr carry them to the train station. And I got a burrito bowl. That is like my favourite thing at the moment. Burrito bowl or sushi? It was a tie up between the two. And I thought, I get a burrito bowl. You can't even see it, you can only see salad. I did get like rice, chicken, cheese, all of that jazz. And I do love those. So I'm going to have a shower and then I think I'll have that. And then a bit of a debrief. Um, I am very pleased with obviously the fitness win. That's very exciting. And also the feedback from that. That literally means the world to me and is very exciting in terms of like moving forwards that sorry I got something on my screen <laughs> um yeah there was a lot of positive feedback so and a lot of potential so I'm very very excited about that obviously bikini I didn't place which is a bit disappointing but I'm not too worried it was mainly like this competition it's the first in this category I wanted to get a gist of obviously what category would be best for me to compete in and I've already talked to my coach about it so what we will be doing is we will literally be building the absolute dream physique for fitness um, I've said I want to keep my physique pretty much bikini like um, but we're just going to develop a couple of things so we've got a bit more like muscle definition the legs and things so very positive day overall um, a very, very long day, especially waiting outside in the cold. Covid competitions, not the one. <laughs> so it would be very nice, obviously, when we come in a venue and actually just chill with other athletes because it was very, it was like really, really strange. I think I'll probably talk a bit more about it in a video. Maybe I do 
in a couple of days time on motivation and a bigger debrief on the competition but anyway I'm gonna end this vlog here and I hope you guys have enjoyed following my journey I'm sorry I didn't get too much footage of the actual day I'm hoping that maybe someone did and if they send it to me then obviously I'll upload it and show you guys my awards so I got a medal first place and then look at this sword NPC Worldwide Kingdom Classic 2021. Morning my lovely people! We are now on Sunday and today it is absolutely amazing weather. I've actually just done a little gym session. So I just did 20 minutes cardio. So I just, I don't know, I just wanted to go to the gym. Um, even though it's going to be like a bit of rest day, but I think I might try and do some handstands later because I'm going to go across to Oxford. And I've now got two weeks until my next competition. So I had a nice meal yesterday and back on track today. Um, and yeah, we'll see what the next couple of weeks brings. Very, very good times, hopefully. Um, and for the next competition, as I think I mentioned, my aim is a pro card because it's a pro qualifier and that is literally my dream. <laughs> if I get the pro card, then I will decide to do the Arnold in October. Um, anyway. That is for another time. I don't know what we're doing with this leg. <laughs> Just like lifting it up. Um, but I'm going to go and meet my friend for a sunny walk and then probably head to Buzz Oxford as soon as I'll be there um, later. So that is the plan for today. <laughs> Watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, baby Real free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me Watch me pray.